Where's the best place to get snacks while you're out Christmas shopping? Well, the all-new Creamery in Beaver, Utah, of course. And we'll be stopping there on our way to the Beaver Light Parade as they go caroling with St. Nick. We're also exploring Beaver County with a ride to discover the story behind these bizarre structures built out in the middle of nowhere. Plus, follow five friends who happen to work together on an adventure bike ride to find out how they live life to the fullest and help others do the same. It all happens right now. At Your Leisure is next. Wow, my favorite place to eat, and it's all new. That's true. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to At Your Leisure. I'm Chad Booth. And I'm Rhea Rossi Booth. And where are we, Rhea? We are in Beaver, Utah, and we're doing a little Christmas shopping out you know, in this beautiful rural area. That's true. Now, every year we make a tradition of going to a different town to see how they get ready for Christmas. Do a little shopping, go to an event. You know, we've been to Helper, we've been to Duchesne, we've been to yeah. Vernal. All of them have great tradition. Right. This year we picked on Beaver. Yeah, and we are so excited to be here. This is a beautiful, brand new, multi-million multi dollar place, is mm -hmm. it not? This is true. This is it's... the same place that made the squeaky cheese oh, yeah. that we've been buying up and down <laughs> I-15 for years. But now they got a new big retail place. I know, and I can't wait to get in because it's freezing and they have jelly and ice cream in there. There's a whole bunch <laughs> to do, so let's go shopping. Okay, it's my first step inside the door, <gasps> man. This it's is gorgeous. way bigger than the old creamery. Oh so, my gosh. So they got ice cream here and they got cheese over here and they've got a rest a restaurant or place to eat now. Did you hear that? Yeah, you just burped. <laughs> and it, we haven't even eaten yet. I'm so sorry. I apologize. <laughs> right in my ear, okay. by the way. Thank you, honey. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's divide and conquer. Let's okay. go shopping. I'm going that way. I'm going that way. This is the ugliest cheese I have ever seen in my life. Kind of like an orange brain. Therefore, I'm going to take it. Roasted pecan syrup. Yes. Now that's cheese. Oh, I need a bigger cart. Here's your dinner. Oh, and it's Mediterranean sunset cheddar, by the way. It must be healthy for me. It's fantastic. I've already had two. Mm. We're going to bring some home. Mm -hmm. It's good, really good. Yeah, where do you buy these? Sweet cinnamon puffs? They're delicious. Cheese, Chad. No, go. not cheese. Cheese. Cheese, Chad. Cheese, go Chad. bigger. Go home. Yeah. Look at the size of that thing. You think we can eat that in a week? Uh, I know you could probably. <laughs> that looks delicious. And that's the ugliest cheese I've ever is seen. It? So therefore, I like that. that Have you is ever a had work it? Of art. Yes, it's good. It's okay. beautiful. It's very shreddable. So if you okay. Want well. Cheese, oh, good. Yes, okay. Well, so. I'm glad you got the cheese because I've got all the other delicious stuff. Like I got the lemon cookies and the honey and the caramel and the syrup and the homemade noodles and chocolate. chocolate and oh this jelly looks so good this jalapeno apricot jelly oh my gosh okay well all right well listen you can tell i'm starving we gotta get moving <laughs> so let's hurry and check out because we'll see you downtown we got more shopping to do It's, uh, it's a boot gun, so you drop it down into your pistol, or into your boot. The handle sticks up the top so that you can still uh, access the gun. This is the oldest gun in the store. And it's for sale? Yep. It's a 1790s flintlock. So this was your flash pan, but it would have been back uh, when they used actual flint. And that is Elvis Presley's gun. Yeah. Tell me about this. My dad bought it from the Presley estate in 94. It was my mom's birthday present that year. 
So it is uh, full ivory grips. You can see the ivory starting to shrink around the, uh, the gun. And those are diamonds in the bullet. Sherwood Forest, unique I say, gifts. I say we go in. Let's, Let's look, go. Take a look at it. It looks fun. It is. And one of the very unique things that they have here are these wax hands. This is solid wax here, and this is actually somebody's hand. And Carrie, the owner here, is going to tell me a little bit about it. How, what is this? Well, well, actually, what we do is we dip your hand in the wax, and then we sculpt onto your hand whatever you want. What we do with this, we actually take it and re-dip it in the wax and back in the water, add a couple of layers onto it, but we'll actually fill it with three quarters planting soil. And then the last 25% we put in hot wax, we seal the two together so it never comes apart. And then we take it from there and then we, then we do the sculpting on top of the hand. That's so cool. Here's my beautiful hand. Thank you, Carrie. It's a dolphin jumping into my palm. I love it. Anyway, I got another handoff for you. We're gonna go to our where to segment and it's another beautiful trail right here in Beaver County. When you first come upon them, they take you by surprise. You're not quite sure if you're looking at petrified prehistoric beehives or some sort of ancient pyramids. I mean, you just don't expect them. You're surrounded by, you know, some cedar trees, and then all of a sudden, boom, there's all these kilns. <laughs> Charcoal kilns that date back to as early as 1870 can be found all throughout the area. Locals claim there are at least 40 in the region. So what were they used for? Well, the kilns were structures built specifically for creating charcoal. It was a critical part of Beaver County's mining past. Charcoal burns much hotter than wood, and it was needed to smelt metals at the mines at Frisco and Newhouse. Some of the charcoal was even used to heat homes and public buildings. Yeah, there was as many as 6,000 people that lived in Frisco in its heyday, and, and uh, there was a lot of engineering that went into these and some real skills that by the old masons and whoever built them. The kiln masters of the day would burn wood inside the structures and then let it smolder. Then the vents would be sealed and the resulting charcoal would cool for up to a week before being shipped off to the mine or back into town. It's amazing how they were able to build them up. They leave holes, just some rocks out at the bottom so the air would come in. The, you can see this other place where it would come out and they'd make the charcoal. And uh, it's amazing how smart they were. They're absolutely pristine and it's, they're just so unique and they're just something that you don't happen on, you know, unless you have some connection. Uh, you've almost got to be right on top of them to even know they're here. But while the locals make the discovery seem out of reach without knowing the right peeps, they do want to share their heritage. So this year, the Beaver Country Jamboree will feature a ride out to the kilns. It's likely to be the most sought after ride for those ATV pioneers who just love the artifacts of the old West Desert and want to strike out for the mother load of history. We're gonna feature this ride with our ATV Jamboree which is the 14th through the 17th of May in 2019. And our registration opens the 15th of January. They're really historic and we're really excited to be able to showcase them. We're also very careful so that we want to make sure that they stay preserved. For this week's Where To, I'm Terry Wood.
This Christmas, get the perfect gift from Stedman's Recreation in Tooele. You can enjoy a Honda Snowblower, Honda Generator. The kids will love a 2018 Polaris Outlaw 50, 2019 Honda CRF 50F, a 2018 Polaris H150, and for the ultimate family gift, a 2019 Razor XP Turbo S, four-seater. At Stedman's, you'll find a Christmas gift that will be enjoyed all year long. Stedman's Recreation in Tooele. You may think it's 300 miles out here, but remember, it's only 30 miles back. You know, we're folks bound by traditions. Whether it's holiday time or vacation time, make sure that one of your traditions is a stop at the Creamery in Beaver, Utah. Delicious cheese direct from the factory, ice cream, tasty treats, crafts, and gifts of all kinds. And it's the perfect place to get a bowl of creamy mac and cheese. Start your new tradition the next time you're headed our way. The Creamery in Beaver, Utah. Farm, meat table. It's time for the Polaris Holiday Sales Event. Get huge holiday deals on the world's best-selling off-road lineup. Chase adventure on a legendary sportsman. Get more done with a hard-working ranger or attack the off-road with a high-performance Razor. Celebrate the season with rebates up to $2,000 during the Polaris Holiday Sales Event. Conquer the summit and catch that Ski-Doo feeling with the 2019 Ski-Doo Mountain Sleds. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. I'm Scott Huntsman, and here's our What's New segment. A product review for today is going to be with our 09 Rubicon, the one that we did the previous work. The fender flares, the 37 inch tires, the opening of the wheel well to make that work. But today we're gonna have a lot of fun. The wheel that we've chosen for this project is the KMC XD231. It's a racing wheel as well as an off-road wheel, a functional beadlock wheel that I ordered in satin black to go with the black and red theme of the Jeep. Beautiful wheel. I want to explain why we're going to use the beadlock wheel, what a functional beadlock wheel is, and how you mount a tire onto it properly and inflate it properly. I'm excited for this project. Let's go on inside and let's get started with this. My intention to leave the tire pressure monitoring system active in this Jeep. So therefore, I've removed the tire monitors from the original wheels and will be installing them into these new wheels. The tire monitor also acts as the valve stem where you put the air in. It measures air pressure and it also measures temperature of the tire as well. When mounting the tire on the rim, I align the yellow dot to the valve stem. The yellow dot is a marking from Yokohama to indicate the best balance point. While mounting the tire onto the wheel, we must center the bead onto the upper lip of the new beadlock rim. This is crucial for good balance and proper mounting. I'm going to center that with the clips that I have fabricated and some of the bolts. I will apply anti-seize to all of the bolt threads. I'm going to start four bolts in even spots around the ring. I'm going to tighten them evenly and slowly to set the ring in place. This is critical and be patient. This takes some time. Then you can add the other bolts and start them as well. While putting the ring on, the KMC logo must align with the valve stem. After working all of the bolts down, the final torque is 24 foot-pounds and must be gone over several times. After balancing, the wheel is ready to put back on. Wow! That is all I have to say about it. I'm so excited for these. I can't wait to try these on the trail. Our KMC wheels, functional bead locks, our Yokohama tires, these are fantastic. Project Ruby Red is coming along beautifully. And stay tuned in future episodes, we have more upgrades we're gonna do to this bad boy. Now, if this seems a little too much for you to get these wheels on, just come and see us at Tunex in West Valley. 
tuned exit South Jordan. These wheels are available through us, so are the tires. I'm Scott Huntsman. That's your What's New segment for this week. Stay tuned. The Utah Farm Bureau began as a collection of farmers supporting each other to raise the food we enjoy. Today, Farm Bureau membership encompasses everyone, whether ranchers, growers, or just everyday folks like you and me. Members enjoy discounts on items like vehicles and ATVs, or insurance that's very affordable. You don't have to be a farmer to join, and dues are small, but together we make a big difference in keeping our food supply local and abundant. Join Utah Farm Bureau. Give us the work no one else wants to do. We don't just go against the grain, we grow it. Give us the frontiers, the places where success is measured and pushed limits. Give us the middle of nowhere, where the only map is your buddy's tread marks. This life, no one's born ready for it. From the trail to the heart of the backcountry, discover that ski -Doo feeling with the 2019 ski -Doo Trail and Crossover Sleds. Welcome back to At Your Leisure down here in Beaver. You know, like most small town things, when they have an <laughs> event for Christmas, did you just try and wrap that around my head? <laughs> Put it around your head. <laughs> anyway, most of the time, they, uh, they invite everybody to be part of the process. So we didn't come down here to see their light parade. We came down here to be in their light parade. So we're dressing up the AYL Jeep. Let's keep working. And we, and we are like under the gun. So we, we have to like get this done because the parade starts like in a half hour. Right, so grab, don't just sit there, grab some lights. Come on, come help us get this done. This is actually quite fun. takers hey everybody this is so awesome nothing like hometown Christmas parades I yep. mean Beaver County they got it right and this Beaver City's fun <laughs> it's true it's so fun it is it's a lot of fun there have been a whole different kind of uh, you know ours is kind of lame but Clark Griswold <laughs> was up there from Bar M towing that was my favorite of the whole parade. his whole truck was just completely ob obliterated with lights it was awesome it has been so much fun to see this parade and get ready and meet all the people here in town it's, i love it they are i mean you just you feel like they're all your family really you got to come out here next year and do this it's really fun all right but right now it's time for us to go to our along the way piece it's a story of five guys who work together and make life happy for everybody doing what they love check it out uh -huh. Of 
us here at Rocky Mountain love going out and adventure riding. Uh, a lot of us started as off-road riders. Now we like to head out and ride these adventure bikes with all of our camping gear. We pack them up, we go out on these two track roads, sometimes get into single track. But uh, the, the best adventures we've had have been out on these back roads, seeing the beautiful country that we live in. We really do enjoy each other's company. I mean, we kind of started this whole adventure riding thing together as an exercise to understand the industry more. We all love it and we can't get enough. And we're always talking about when's the next ride and we let our hair down a little bit and we have a good time. But at the same time, we're doing market research. We're doing product development. Uh, that's a lot of the team that's out there as well. And so, you know, there's, there's all these benefits we get, but most of all, it's awesome. Some of the tougher times are some of the better times. We'll get stuck in rainstorms and uh, just bad weather. And those are the times you remember. That's what makes good memories. So uh, no matter what, we're out there having a good time. We feel lucky to be able to do this for our, for our job. And it's, it's awesome. It doesn't feel like work. You know, we're, we're out there, we're having a good time. We're all passionate about riding motorcycles. And so absolutely does not feel like work. Now, a lot of my friends, they always give us a hard time about camping, you know. I'll, I'll tell them about it. They're all about the riding and everything, but when I talk about camping, they get all sideways. Well, this is the best time for a lot of us. We get out there, we have the right equipment. We bring, you know, good sleeping bags, sleeping pads, chairs, uh, you know, all the, the equipment we need to cook our dinners and have a campfire. It's honestly our favorite part of the ride. It took us almost three years to get our Battleborn routes out in Nevada figured out just because there's so much that's involved with putting these routes together. We put those into a video to make it easy for you guys to get out and enjoy the world of adventure riding. These videos are great because they give you a chance to check out the scenery and really get an idea of what the terrain's like. We also provide you with GPS tracks and anything that you need to get out and actually do these rides yourself from gas stops to good places to camp and points of interest, anything that's worth checking out, all that and just the general shenanigans that we get ourselves into. Look at me, a lot of fun fits in this guy. So uh, going out there and riding with these guys, I mean, not only is it fun to you kind of moto like you're uh, back in the day when we're younger, but you also get to enjoy some beautiful scenery, uh, the camping, the camaraderie. I mean, it's, it's just an incredible experience. There's so many things to love about adventure riding. There's, there's views, good riding, uh, camaraderie, all the guys and hanging out and get to know each other. The views and, and it's just, it's breathtaking. I mean, sometimes you, you do a lot of thinking, you know, when you're out there on those bikes and <laughs> the meaning of life, you know, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy the emotions that go through your head when you're out there on your motorcycle. Stars come out at night Oh, there ain't nothing like Being raised in the basin with the youth reservation Skin starvation That Duchesne County life The trail isn't about point A to B It's everything in between An adventure, a reunion, your escape It may not be the path of least resistance And we like it that way because the road less traveled will always lead you somewhere. The new 50-inch Maverick Trail, Can-Am engineering for the trails and all who ride them. Crisp, colorful, a world in transition. You don't have to travel the back roads of Maine to explore autumn in all of its glory. Beaver County offers fall and unique splendor with drives along forgotten canyons and hikes through meadows exploding with vibrant hues of red and yellow. Hit the road with your family and discover a side of Beaver County you never knew you were missing. Autumn is fleeting, so don't hesitate. Beaver County, it's time to experience the real Utah. It's time for the Polaris Holiday Sales Event. 
Get huge holiday deals on the world's best-selling off-road lineup. Chase adventure on a legendary sportsman. Get more done with a hard-working ranger. Or attack the off-road with a high-performance racer. Celebrate the season with rebates up to $2,000 during the Polaris Holiday Sales Event. Welcome back to At Your Leisure from Beaver, Utah, where we've been celebrating Christmas. You know, Rhea's always hungry. <laughs> and we end up a shoot, and she's hungry. I am. I'm still hungry. I'm the one who looks like I'm always hungry. She's the one who always is hungry. It's <laughs> not fair. <laughs> But there are lots of dining opportunities here. Once you get off the freeway, there's some great restaurants in town. Just a nice way to cap off the day before you put your head on the pillow and think, wow, this was fun. It was. It was just a wonderful Christmas. It just gets you into the spirit. The people are so cool and so friendly here. And the food is so good. They got a five-star Mexican place at a campground. Yeah. And then you got the pizza place downtown. I know. Really, there's a lot of good places to eat around here. And, then and there's, stay. And there's Rhea's favorite spot. <laughs> Well, I'm a sucker for a bacon cheeseburger. So guess where we are? We're at Mel's, which is on Main Street. We're going to go in and order and show you how good the food is because you won't be able to smell it or taste it. And while we do that, let's take a look at our contest winner. Come on, Ree, let's go order. Our contest winner this week is UTV Plate Y71MU. Congratulations, you just won a Clearly Tough windshield. ClearlyTough.com. Clearly, the strongest windshield for your rig on the market. Congratulations. Call 801-947-8888 to claim your prize. So, next week, Restein takes us on the Bison Roundup. Hundreds of bison on the move on Antelope Island. Then, we're going Christmas shopping to give you some ideas what to buy your outdoor adventure seeker, regardless of budget. Oh, great. I can't wait to see what I get. No peeking, Chad. Especially not before we show off all the fun Christmas events for your family that will be going on at all the different state parks throughout the month of December. Looks like next week's show, as always, is going to be a most excellent adventure. <laughs> Indeed it does. And this beautiful bacon cheeseburger is just waiting for me to eat it, because this is beautiful as well. Yes, what well, you don't realize is we've had three takes so far, and she's almost <laughs> been able, it's almost been now. able to bite it three <laughs> times. I ordered the pastrami burger. It is really tasty, I can tell. Yeah, and I got these wonderful onion rings and the most beautiful snowflake cookie that's bigger than my face which so, I think I will have to split three ways. Yes, so <laughs> she's gonna save a third of it for you right here at Mel's Drive-In. We've had a great time down here in Beaver County uh, for their Christmas parade. And you know, all you have to do is get up off your couch because we prove it every week. There's adventure around every band. You bet, you just gotta get out there and create your own adventure. At, at your, your leisure. leisure. Merry it. Christmas. Ho, 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 eat. <laughs> eat, Santa, eat. eat. Santa.